Hey friends. So yesterday we were working on the DGE rule and the GE rule for spelling. And the most important thing we learned was that when we use DGE, we use this with short vowel sounds. So I'm going to write here short vowels. How do I know it's going to be a short vowel? Well, let's take the word hedge. <sighs> eh. Now, this is a short vowel. I'm going to put the D-G-E ending here. But let's take a look at what makes this a short vowel. I don't have a vowel team here, and I don't have a silent E that can get to this other E. Remember, that silent E can only jump over one consonant, and here are two, a D and a G. My silent E is not going to make it there. That's going to allow this E to stay a short vowel sound. Hmm. So we learned yesterday that when we have a long vowel sound, we use GE. And I'm going to write that this is the for the long vowel sound. So let's look at the word um, cage. K. That could be a C or a K. So let's go to the next letter. A. Oh, what letter loves A's? Yes, it's a round letter, so we're going to use a C. K. A. J. This is a long vowel sound. I know it's a long vowel sound because it says its name. The long vowel sounds are A, E, I, O, and U. Those are all the vowels, and they are the names of the vowels. That's how we know it's a long vowel sound. I'm going to use GE now because it's a long vowel. How did this one work that it's a long vowel? Well, I don't have a vowel team here to make this a long A. What I do have is a silent E. That silent E can jump over one consonant and make that vowel a long vowel sound. That's why we have to use GE for long vowels, and we have to protect the short vowel by using a D G E, because we need the two consonants there. So today, you are going to practice writing the words that are in your phonology activity. Practice the words. Make sure you have the DGE for the short vowel words and the GE for the long vowel words.